let's see how we can install Laravel in our Mac OS machine. So for that we need obviously the composer. So let's open the composer. And what is composer? Composer is a dependency manager. But what is dependency manager? Dependency manager means this can manage all the project and all the third party packages or whatever you are going to include in your project it can manage it knows where you can you have to place that package where you have to start from that package and how you have to structure the package you are going to install via this composer so that's why it is called dependency manager it manages your project so let's see how we can download this for our Mac machine. So for Mac, you just have to copy all these things and like this, then open terminal and in the terminal, just paste that. Okay, so paste this and it's now downloading composer and it will do some of the downloading works. And after just some time, it's now completed. And now you can just check whether Composer is installed or not. So I will say Composer and hit enter. And if the Composer is successfully installed, then you will see this kind of message when you run Composer only. Then we have installed correctly the Composer. So what we need, we need to run this command and what this command will do. Let's see. Here, if I run this command, I get the ability to download Laravel with the command of Laravel new, whatever will be the project name. So if my project name is Laravel 5.5, so I will say Laravel new Laravel 5.5 or whatever it is. So this gives us a great ability to just download Laravel. You can also do like this composer, create project, hyphen hyphen prefer, hyphen dist, hyphen laravel and slash laravel dash block. All these things you can do, but it's better to use this. Easy to memorize. Then everything is done. So let's just open. So I will open now the terminal inside this. So I will open terminal and if one of let's say on the third one so i will say here laravel new and then let's use blog it doesn't matter so i will say uh, bit fumes uh, something else to demonstrate you so hit enter and it will now download laravel you can see it's now downloading laravel and yeah we have successfully installed laravel in our machine and now you can see the Laravel is successfully installed. And now we don't need any ZAMP WAMP because we are on Mac machine and Mac give you PHP by itself. So if I say PHP hyphen V, we are getting the PHP version. I am having 7.1.5 and if you don't have PHP 7 or greater. Then next thing I'm going to show you which will give you PHP 7 and greater and also the MySQL so that you don't have to install any kind of XAMPP WAMP or local uh, server. Okay, so I will go here on the documentation and here I will go to Valet. To install this Valet, Laravel Valet, you first need the homebrew. So let's go to homebrew website and here let's just copy all these codes written here and run in our terminal. So what this will do, this will install homebrew in your machine. And now homebrew is successfully installed and you can check by typing brew and hit enter and you will get lots of commands. So how we can install the PHP 7.1 so you just have to say brew install PHP 7.1 not 7.1 just 7.1 then hit enter because I have already installed that's why it's giving error and it says brew upgrade 
you can also do brew upgrade 7 php 7 1 to upgrade your php version if you have already installed uh, older version then what you need you need brew install my sql so you can see we don't have to install any kind of xamp or vam so let's hit enter and again as i have already it's now same giving me the same error so updating brew and the same error that it's already installed if i want to upgrade i can upgrade it so th in this way we can install these two but here comes the new things we have to install the new thing which is called laravel valet so how will we install laravel valet so you just have to run this command composer global require laravel slash valet run this command it will install valet in your machine so now the valet is successfully installed what do you have to do what this will do so i will cd into the project we have installed bitfumes and i will say php artisan serve to start the server for our project whatever we have installed so i will go to localhost colon 8000 and yes we are having this but you can see every time we have to install or we have to see our project we have to do this php artisan serve and if i close this then there is no server but this is annoying so what you have to do you just have to use the valet so you can you can say valet park it will ask for password then valet link and i also have a bitfumes in another website so what i will do i will rename that folder so i will say bitfume um, 55 i will say for this so now same thing valet park valet link and created successfully created so i will say bitfumes 55 dot dev and now we have our laravel installed and even if i close my terminal i can access this this is a great thing because of the valet so this is good and obviously you need to install the sql pro sql pro for mac what this will do you can download this and you can download this from here if when this downloads just run this and you will get this type of interface and just type localhost then 127.0.0.1 username is root and boom your mysql has now connected and your database is here and you can create add database here just like you will do on xamp on windows machine so all these things are in this episode so we will meet in the next episode so till then don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram